Hi there, my name is Michael and you're welcome to my channel. This is Mike Bold Fashion Tutorial. If you're just joining this channel for the very first time, um, please, I would like you to like, um, share, subscribe and give me a thumbs up on this channel as this channel promises to debunk a lot of fashion errors. Okay, in our last video, we um, started working on something. We started working on bodies with the waist seam line and we're actually able to trace out the patterns and today we are going to be continuing with that. Actually, we are going to be um, putting seam allowances on our patterns. We are going to be throwing our darts and also we are going to be cutting and sewing and test for fits of how this fits on our model. Okay, so these are more we are going to be doing today. Please don't leave that down. We're going to short break. Welcome back. Okay, at this point in time, we actually worked on this bodice in our last video. Okay, this is going to be the second part of that video we started working on. Okay, so right now we have our, our patterns here. We have our center front pattern for the bodies. This is the center front skirts. This is the um, center back um, or the back pattern, okay? The back bodies, and this is the back skirt, okay? So this time around, we are placing this on a paper. So we are gonna be tracing out, and after tracing out, we'll add the seam allowances to them, of which we'll place on fabric and we'll cut to test for fit. Okay, right now I've been able to actually trace out the the patterns on another paper because it's on this paper i would be putting the seam allowance so this time around we'll be removing the pins okay which has been used to hold them in place in order to trace out we're removing the pins right now so all right guys i've been able to trace out my patterns and i've removed the pins so this time around we'll just take out the patterns from the paper Okay, taking out the papers, the, the pattern from the paper we just traced. Okay, at this moment, the next thing we are going to be doing is we're going to be throwing our darts. Okay, the next thing we are going to be doing is to throw our darts. Now, starting from the, the center front or the front bodies. Okay, what I do is that I just crease up this, this dart leg. I crease it up. Okay. I'm going to be creasing this up from the that leg, then fold it inwardly this way. Okay, I've creased this up. Okay, you can see what I am doing. So I'll use my tracing wheel to trace from the center front to so where I joined the that legs together. And when I open up, this is what I will have. So I've been able to throw this that. I'll just join these legs together. Okay, so I've been able to join this together. One other thing I want us to do is that, of course you cannot sew, from the last video I did, if you have not seen that video, you cannot sew the, the boss that from the apex, okay? Uh, this is the boss point right now. So we have to get our dart point. So how do we get our dart point? We have to come down one inch below that. Okay, we're coming down one inch below that line. And we'll take a straight line, meeting it up to the dart leg. Okay? We'll take a straight line, meeting it up to the dart leg. So we are not actually sewing our dart to this point. This is our boss point. And this is going to be our dart point. So we are sewing from here to release fullness, okay? Because you don't want to have some strings on your pattern. You don't want to have strings. By the time you sew, when you sew to this point, you'll have strings, which is going to affect the feet of the garment. Okay, I'm going to be throwing other darts too, okay? We are here to add seam allowances. What we just did, we are doing right now is just to throw the darts as it were. Now the next is, this is my, this is my center front skirt. Now, mind you, if you're throwing your darts, you throw your darts towards the side seam. Okay, you fold your darts towards the side seam, not from the side seam to the center front, either way. So what I'll do, I'll do the same thing. I'll repeat the same thing here again. I'll crease up this dart leg. I'll crease up this dart leg, okay? Then I'll join it to this, to this other point, okay? And when I do that, what I do is 
use my using my tracing wheel, I'll trace through the line. And voila, this is what I have. So I've been able to through this that also. I've been able to through this that also. So I have to through all my dots that way. Okay. Now for the center back, I am bringing closing my dot towards the side seam. So I'll crease this that also because it's optic. I'll crease this dot also and bring it towards the side seam. And what I do is from this point now, I'll just follow the line, okay? And trace to through my dot. So I've been able to trace to through my dot there. So I'll just pencil it out. I'll pencil it out. So last on the list is my back bodies. Last on the list is my back bodies. Okay, so I'm going to be treating my back bodies. Remember, we are treating our dart towards the side seam. So, I'll fold up my dart leg and make a crease towards the point. Then fold it to join. Okay. Fold it to join the other dart. Okay. Then, using my tracing wheel again, I'll just trace, and voila, I have my dots, okay, trued. I've been able to throw my dots. Now, the next on this category is, we're actually going to be adding our seam allowances to our pattern. We are going to be adding our seam allowances to our pattern. So how do we do that? For the side seam, we'll be adding half an inch to the side seam. We'll be adding half an inch to the side seam. Half an inch to the side seam, okay. To the seam, to the waist seam, we are adding half an inch. To the waist seam, we are adding half an inch. To the waist seam, remember this that point. We are coming down by half an inch, okay. Half an inch, following the dart leg. And so the center front point, we have half an inch. So I'll just with a ruler, I'll join this together. Okay, so I'll just join this that leg here. Four. Okay, we'll be notching that. Then at this point, this is what we do. We just fold this a little bit so that we can have the right cut on our fabric. We are folding this part. Okay, look at where I'm folding. Okay, the seam itself, not the seam allowance. We're folding the seam line, the side seam line, not the seam allowance, and. We'll just turn. We just trace the lines, the same line and the same allowance, and this is what we have. We want to make sure that as we are cutting, we have the right shape for our seam. So coming to my neck right now. I'm 
I'm going to be adding half an inch seam allowance half an inch seam allowance okay now for the ammo we'll be putting half an inch seam allowance all through following the curve following the curve we're going to be adding half an inch seam allowance okay I'm going to be adding half an inch seam allowance all through. You have to follow the curve as it goes. Okay. Half an inch seam allowance. And I'll just pencil this out, you know. Okay. So at this point, I will I will hold my side seam and fold it so that like I have the right cut. Okay. And what I do is, from here, I'll just trace just about 5 or 0 0.5 inch or thereabout. And this is what I have. It is just for me to have the right cut. And the same thing I'll repeat on my neckline for this part. So, folding the seam crease, not the seam crease. Okay. We'll crease it up, then just trace it a bit. And this is what we have. Now for the for the neckline, we're not gonna be using we're not going to be using um half an inch seam allowance. Okay, since this is a test fit, okay. Normally for necklines you use quarter of an inch um seam allowance use quarter of an inch seam allowance but since this is a test we are testing for fits we are not making a proper garment so we'll not be adding seam allowance to the neckline because um, for necklines there are ways okay we'll be coming to that okay and videos coming on how to actually finish necklines okay so this is what i have you can see the shape you know it's not it's not straight so by the time we sew this it's going to lie flat inside this so we have been done we are we are done with actually the seam allowance for the front bodies now for the center back for example we're going to be leaving one inch which is going to be a zipper allowance okay one inch for a zipper allowance then you can see the seam so we are going to be putting half an inch seam allowance all through okay including including the the waist um, seam okay half an inch seam allowance all through including the waist seam then for the center back bodies you can see we have one inch um, zipper allowance so at the size we're going to be putting half inch okay so we will not be adding an inch um, allowance to the neckline because we're not working on the neckline right now so we'll just leave it as, as it is but if we're actually going to be working on the neckline we're supposed to add about um two eighths of an inch to that so i want to add my seam allowance now and we'll come back to that all right guys at this moment we've been able to put our seam allowances on our on our patterns okay you can see from the shoulder to the arm all that down to the side seam and the waist seam we have our seam allowances okay so you can see for the skirts also for the center front for the center back we have our seam allowances of half an inch and on the, on the waist um, seam we have a seam allowance of half an inch there so the only places we don't have um seam allowances on this pattern right now because this is a pattern to test for fits is our actually our, our our necklines we don't have seam allowances on our necklines and we don't have seam allowances 
at the end of our skirts we don't have seam allowances at the end of our skirts okay so we are going to be taking a special video to explain how the seam allowances work okay we have to apply and um, the number of seam allowances you you should add at several parts of the of the pattern okay okay just a brief one for um the end of skirts straight skirts or pencil skirt like this we can actually add um seam allowances between one and a half inch to about two inches okay all right so i think that is that then i said that for the neckline also you just need about two eighths of an inch for the neckline so for this for this purpose for this purpose of the demonstration we are not going to be adding seam allowance okay another thing i want us to observe also is that this fabric as you're seeing this fabric this fabric is actually unfold okay this fabric is actually unfold and what i did here was actually i folded selvage to selvage now this part of the fabric if you look at it very well it's called the selvage okay this is called the selvage of the fabric so i folded selvage to selvage so what that means is that this fabric is actually on a straight grain it's not on the cross grain or on the bias grain it's actually on the straight grain we'll take time to explain that also in coming videos okay right now i want to cut my um i want to cut my fabric right now so beginning from the spot all right guys so the next um, section of this is actually to transfer our darts into our pattern we're going to be transferring our darts into our pattern please um i actually have done a video about that now for my video on how to test um, um how to test for fit of the body's torso foundation you actually in that video you'll actually see how that is transferred into the fabric there are several ways of doing that okay you can use the thread method you can use but actually i showed us a particular method that works in my own um, particular pattern okay mind you okay for the last time i just want to say this that this uh that is not going to be sewn from the apex which is the boss point it's going to be sewn from the that point we came down a little bit of about an inch so that we can have um um what's it called we can have fullness at the bus we can release some fullness through this that at the bus okay let's go and sew right now all right guys at this moment um, we have been able to sew our, our um garment right now so okay this is the upper torso which is the bodies and this is the skirts joined to it now um don't be surprised that we have a little gap in here now this gaping is as a result of the seam allowance we added at the um at the arm hole okay by the time we put a sleeve into this it will sit well on the body okay so it's just due to the seam allowance and all that then this looking at our bodies and our skirts you can see the that matches the that has to match if the that doesn't match then you're not doing it right okay so the that has to match both in front and behind can my model talk turn backwards please okay you can see my dad's legs okay they have to match put in front and behind now if you can see the zipper part also you can see the line okay it matches now this is how this is one of the ways you get to know a well-sewn garment okay you can see this part also you can see like a cross so the seams are are matching the seams are matching both in front and at the back so could you just please turn around so my viewers could see the feet of the garment at the end of the, the at the end of the day so at this point in time okay we're going to be doing a subject called contouring okay we're going to be doing a, a subject called contouring and by the time we'll be contouring contouring we're going to be okay working with the under bust okay and the upper chest to make sure that this actually lies flat on the body so that's going to be um what we'll be doing you know as we continue with this but as it is right now the garment actually fits the shoulder slope they lie flat on the shoulder it's not saggy it's not gaping okay so it's actually perfect for the model right now so as we continue we're working on subject 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 that would go ahead to reshape this to make this more beautiful as it is but as it is right now it actually fits the model so at this point in time our pattern sets is almost ready okay our slopers are almost ready so this is the center front um, skirt this is the center back skirt this is the center front bodies 
and this is the center back bodice okay at this point in time we have our bodies for the torso foundation this is for the center front and this is for the center back for our torso foundation now while this is used for waistline dresses with waistline that has waistline you have to join together this is actually good for your shirts your jackets your dresses without waistline also okay this is what you'll be using for that while dresses and clothes with waistline okay this can also be used for panel dresses also panel dresses also so these are the things we'll be looking at during the course of this um tutorial okay at this point in time i want to thank you for your time for your patience please if you are just joining this channel for the first time don't forget to like share subscribe and give me a thumbs up so that i'll be encouraged to bring more videos your way so till i come your way again do have a nice time take care of yourselves bye